Guests will stand for the bride, please. right away and to say we do. we do all right I'm gonna have you step over Eugene and take his place and the two of you can have a seat right in the front there and yes you can be seated thank you so much Eugene and Paula we are gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses and in the sight of God to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to add the richest blessings to the words which shall unite the both of you in marriage and today is a very special and beautiful day in your lives. Today on October 28th, the two of you are joining your hearts and your lives together as one. And as you do this, I'm going to have you look into each other's eyes and just face each other. Eugene, do you take Paula to be your wife and do you promise to love, <laughs> honor, cherish and protect her, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I do. And Paula, do you take Eugene to be your husband, and do you promise to love, <laughs> honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I do. As you both know, a marriage is one of life's greatest commitments, and as you travel through your lives together, always remember that the true measure to joy and peace in your marriage is always found in the love that God has given the two of you to share. That love is what has brought you here today. And it's that love that will endure a lifetime in your marriage together. And as you continue to look into each other's eyes today, Eugene, I'm going to have you repeat these vows after me. I, Eugene, take you, Paula, I, Eugene, take you, Paula. To, be my wife. to be my wife, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. In, sickness and in, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for or for worse. I, promise I promise my love to you forever. And then Paula, as you do the same, I, Paula, take you, Eugene. I take Eugene to be my husband. To be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. I promise my love. I promise my love. Forever. Forever. Today you have brought rings as symbols of that love to one another. And Eugene, I'm going to ask you to take the ring for Paula first. As you place the ring on her left hand, repeat after me once again, with this ring, with this ring I, promise my love I promise my love and my commitment to you, commitment to you forever. forever. And then Paula, as you take the ring for him today, and as you place the ring on his left hand, repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring I promise my love, I promise my love and, my commitment to you and my commitment to you forever. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? There you go. Today, as you enter into this marriage, never lose sight of the gift that you both share, and that's the love that you have for each other. Marriage is a beautiful gift and a wonderful blessing that so many people search for, and today, you both have definitely found that. I know Eugene will never forget that first moment when he looked into her eyes and realized she was the woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with. And Paula, you waited for a man to come into your life to be a loving and wonderful husband to you, and today you have found that. And there's one thing I can definitely say today after exchanging these rings and vows, and that is you are no longer single. And by the power vested in me by God and as a minister of the state of Nevada, I pronounce you as husband and wife. You may kiss your wife.